in my last video i have shown you how power automate can be used to generate qr code and barcodes right now in this video i will tell you how this qr code and barcode which are generated through power automate and uploaded against a dataverse record can be extracted and downloaded and uh, pasted in a uh, placed the qr code and barcode in a word template through power automate and uh, attach the a template in a dataverse record so here i am creating a uh, word template i am just creating a uh, table and uh, changing the colors as per my needed so i just change the color and i have just two cells let me merge the first row so that i can play some uh, title here so uh, before populating the uh, QR code and uh, barcodes in a document template, you have to first prepare your document template using developer tab, right? Because you need placeholders to replace the uh, images, right? So let's say this is my event registration details. And here I want to write something, a dear. And after dear, it should display the um, customer name. So I can use the developer tab in microsoft words and use the text box plain text box uh, and i can set the property of this uh, text box uh, so that um, i can replace this so this is just a id right when you are giving title that means this is a id that you can use to uh, replace now so age uh, define age none and click on ok if you don't find developer tab uh, customize your ribbon uh, in the word to enable that so dear customer name comma then i want to write some text here thank you for registering the event so normally what happens the uh, when the uh, customer will uh, register it will generate a qr code and barcode and uh, embed the qr code image and barcode image in this document template dynamically so that user can send uh, this template uh, with the barcode and qr code to the customer through email and when they will come to the event they can show the ticket and so that uh, your users can scan to verify right whether he is the correct user or not so i have just used dear customer name dynamically which will populate I have given txt customer name there and below that i want to set up the row to store the qr code and barcode so here i want to place an image using developer tab right uh, let me insert a footer row and merge it and write down something as a disclaimer uh, let's say only authentic authorized authorized users can attend the event you can also uh, in you can also add any static image if you want you can also place dynamic image through power automate let us see how it is done okay so barcode and qr code and barcode now in the above we will place two images in the first shell i want to place an image using developer tab i just remove the uh, let me use the property to remove the bounding box so click none and uh, provide a uh, name of this uh, image because you need to capture the id and uh, uh, replace the image with the qr code right downloaded from dataverse so you can resize by using the uh, handle and uh, next i want to add another image uh, and changing the bounding box as none right i'm just preparing a template right so this template will be used for replacing real uh, actual data so in the right side image it will store the barcode and left side image it will store the qr code right and uh, all these three uh, controls are dynamically given properties with ids so you have to save it first save it in your local machine <clears throat> so once you save this uh, uh, word document template you have to upload this in some uh, cloud application let's say onedrive in onedrive word document also you can store so let me go to onedrive office.com and upload the file so this is the document uh, template i have created so i have uploaded in the onedrive right so once it is uploaded in the onedrive i can now create the power automate 
to replace the placeholders so let me open the power automata i have created last time and i will extend so i have already created up to a file upload image qr upload and barcode upload i have already done this you can watch my previous video right now i will download the qr code and barcode image using download option uh, using dataverse right so i don't want to use uh, populate uh, microsoft word template because before that we need to download right so remove this step word online business so uh, so okay next thing is before creating before configuring the power automate let us create a new column to store the ticket uh, template document template with the image right here give data type as file and uh, save it so this uh, ticket column will store the uh, document with the qr code and barcode embedded in the document template and will be attached in the customer record so let us see how it can be done now once the uh, column is created file column we need to customize we need to add the column in the contact form right so now once the field is added i will customize the form of the customer so let me go to the form and edit the form to place the new column i have just added on the form right so i can go to form and edit the main form now here i can place the i can select the custom column that i have created called as ticket and place on the form right so this is the uh, ticket uh, column i have placed below the um, barcode and qr code and publish it so what will happen whenever the flow will run it will generate the qr code and barcode plus it will attach the ticket document word document here so that user can download and send as in an email right now the form is created now the next thing is we have to edit the flow in the flow after we attach the qr code and uh, barcode image uh, in this image columns above the ticket we need to download the qr code image and barcode image using download action of dataverse right you can connect microsoft dataverse in the microsoft flow or power automate so that you can download the images that are uploaded using different columns like we have barcode to store barcode image and we have qr code column to store qr code image which is in png format right the image format now we have to download that barcode image png using power automate in the same flow which creates the barcode and qr code and it will populate the ticket text then it will save now you see so we do not need popular text now what we we will do do once the file is uploaded we have to download here we are downloading the barcode using download file option in this place we are downloading qr code in another action and we are using a compose method compose step to compose the type of file and in the content we are using base 64 conversion with the downloaded image file okay this compose step is required because you need to define what is the type of uh, file that you are downloading and you have to convert to base 64 once it is done you have to take a populate to microsoft word template and assign the uh, choose the correct template that you have uploaded in the onedrive and associate the uh, compose outputs to corresponding fields like img bar uh, code and img qr code then the file name and then the customer name we have replaced and at last we are uploading the output file of the uh, populate microsoft word template step uh, to the contact record so let us see how it works now save it and let me delete the existing attachments so that we can test it again now this is the record so for this record let me run the test again so i will select this and run so what i am expecting now when when the flow will run it will uh, create qr code barcode and attach in the images also it will populate the uh, word document with the barcode 
and QR code. You see now barcode and QR code is created and also there is a ticket docs DOCS. So if you download this, you will find on the fly the ticket content is replaced with the real customer information with the image. You see now this uh, template is now formatted with dinamic name dear Dinesh Kumar with the content then QR code is the left side and the right side right if you scan in the uh, mobile also this QR code and barcode uh, you can get the informations now this is how uh, when a user will come to the event um, when a customer will come to the event and user scans this ticket uh, that is provided by the uh, customer then they can validate yes he is the correct customer right because this QR code and barcode is generating the uh, data that has been available that is available in the customer record right so I, I hope you understand how QR code and barcode can be generated in Dataverse record and store in the Dataverse record and uh, pull up or download the data uh, download the QR code and barcode from the Dataverse record uh, embed that barcode and QR code in a document template dynamically and generate the document for that customer next you can send this to the customer through email again you can write down another step in the power automate to send this document as an email to the customer otherwise you can manually send this documentation this uh, document ticket to the customer directly uh, using a send email operation right so that's what the uh, tutorial uh, uh, intended for how to embed the images from data force and uh, replace the images in the document template so that you can send it right so this is very very useful in projects where uh, you are uh, using barcodes and qr codes in document templates and send to the customer for event management or anything any qr code related projects that you can work on right so i hope you understand how it works in uh, next uh, in next video i will prepare something uh, related to customer voice uh, if the uh, registration is done how customer voice can work on this qr code so thank you guys Other, otherwise i can also create a canvas app to scan the barcode right so that will be a very specific thing because if someone will come with a ticket uh, you should have a app to scan if you do not have a specific uh, in device uh, device uh, power app uh, device barcode scanner so I will create a canvas app which will read the barcode which will scan and store data and validate data. Thank you everyone. You can also convert this as a PDF. I will show you that how to convert as a PDF so that someone cannot change the data. Uh, okay. So thank you guys. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe this channel. Uh, I am preparing technical videos every day. Thanks everyone. Bye.